In this video, I'm going to go over app config parameters in ASP.NET Storefront. App config parameters are global site-wide settings that allow you to change the behavior of your website. So let's jump into the back end here and take a look at a couple examples. Um, so you want to go to configuration, advanced app config parameters to get to your list of app configs. Now there's quite a few in here and a lot of them you'll never touch. Um, and that's just fine, but it's good to know that they're here. And a lot of the things you may want to do with your website might be available here under app config parameters. So let's take a look at a couple of the most commonly used ones. I'm going to show you an app config parameter called store name. This is one everyone should set. Um, you can see that the default value for store name is ASP.NET storefront. And out here on the home page, you can see that the breadcrumb shows you welcome to and then the store name. So let's go ahead and change that. And you can actually get into them by double clicking on the value. You can also hit the edit button on the left. Go with my store and update that. Now, if you've got caching turned on, you'll want to reset the cache at this point and that's just this button up here. I'll go ahead and click that. I actually don't have caching turned on. And if for some reason you make a change to an app config parameter and you don't see your change take effect, try turning caching off and then resetting the cache and then turning it back on. A lot of times that will fix the issue. So let's go look at the new store name we just set. All right. So now I'd like to take a look at category page app config parameter. So we'll go to our basic betting category. And you can see a uh, category page is, is laid out with your category description up top, then all your subcategories, and then your products. Now, if you want to change the way your subcategories display, you can actually show them in a grid. And I'll show you how to do that. The app config parameter is called show subcats in grid. You set that to true. You'll see how that looks. So now you get an, an icon for each of your categories, and then the category name shows below it. Let's take a look at a product page app config. So there's all kinds of app configs that affect your product page. You can hide and show your add to cart buttons, your wish list buttons. Um, I think I'm going to show the also bought products in more of a list format rather than a grid. You can do that. Just search for also bought. And then you can see each of these app config parameters has a pretty good description on it. And they kind of tell you what it's used for. And you can see that the other value for that is table. And I'll just update that. So take a look at what that does. So now you can see each of the products gets its own line and you get to see the full product description. Okay, let's take a look at some, whoops, grab a size. Take a look at some uh, cart page app config parameters. There's a lot of functionality on the built-in shopping cart that a lot of people don't use. Um, many people don't use order options or coupons or the shipping estimator that you've got here. Order notes, all of those can be turned off via app config. And I'll show you where to do that. So search for coupon and you can just set disallow coupons here to true and I'll update that let's look for option 
actually what I want to turn off is order notes. And I think I'll turn off the shipping estimator. Set that to false. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so that's a little cleaner. We've got the shipping estimator has been removed. The order notes are gone. All right. So let's... Uh, Look at one last app config. Some people like to configure their websites so that you don't have to enter a shipping address because they don't ship any of their products. So let's take a look at that. So there's an app config that allows you to skip over the shipping page on checkout. Whoops. Skip shipping on checkout, we'll set that to true. And hit update. And now if I go back to the shopping cart page, hit checkout now, you'll see we skipped right over shipping options because they're not applicable anymore. In another place you'll see that app config change is on your create account page. I'm actually logged in now, so I'll go right to it. And you can see it combines both your shipping and your billing info into one box rather than having two separate places to enter that info. All right, so that's it. That's all the app configs I'm going to go over. There's a complete list of app config parameters in the manual, and I'll show you where you can get at those. I'm just at manual.asp.net storefront.com. And then over here in the left hand navigation, you'll find app config list. And that should show you all the app configs that are available in ASP.NET storefront.